Hi, Stephen from Owner Disown. Now in this video, I'm gonna do a repasting on the HP Pavilion, yeah, the 15 inch. Now, if you hadn't watched my previous video, it ran really hot. The CPU and the GPU were always in the 90s, unless you uh, undervolted and underclocked that uh, CPU, which was a shame. Now the problem is, of course, they have got shared heat pipes with small heat sinks and low speed fans. So that's a bad combination, really. So, you know, does repacing actually help? So what I did, I used a GC uh, Extreme, that's a GLID GC Extreme Thermal Paste. Now I do like that, it's quite thick and it does cover a lot of the imperfections and it's one of my favorite pastes. I also use Thermal Grizzly Conductonaut, now that's a liquid metal, You've got to be careful with that. So I'll put a thin layer of that on uh, to see if that helps. And finally, I used um, the Graphite Thermal Pad. Uh, now that is uh, extremely thin and uh, it's very slippery. Um, so I wanted just to see if that would work. I'll put that on the CPU and the GPU as well. So in this footage, I show the stock paste on the left and the repasted footage on the right hand side. Uh, first off, I run uh, no undervolting and then uh, I will do undervolting. As you can see here using the GC Extreme, it does appear that I get a higher frame rate, but notice that all correlates to a higher CPU clock rate. As soon as it drops down to say about 3200 megahertz, the uh, frame rate does drop, so that's interesting to note. Um, but do note that, that I do seem to get slightly cooler temperatures. Now switching to the liquid metal, the conduction ore, we see much the same as the GLID Extreme. We do see uh, a slight reduction in temperatures as well as uh, an improvement in frame rate due to the higher CPU clock rate. That's not bad. So now finally the graphite thermal pad. As you can see, the CPU is quite nicely reduced in temperature. That is very good. And as a result, the higher clock rate of the CPU does give the higher FPS. Now, unfortunately, the GPU is higher. It's much hotter. Uh, so thus, it perhaps the contact isn't so good on the GPU itself. So first off, we've got the stock paste here at the bottom. As you can see, the average uh, CPU temperature here on the i5 was uh, 95 degrees and uh, peaking at 98, so that's pretty high. This is without, uh, without any undervolt. Now, uh, applying the undervolt, uh, it did average uh, you know, 93, peaking at 96, so uh, that, uh, that did help. That's why you, know, you needed to uh, underclock it as well, but this is at the stock clocks. So uh, then uh, let's have a look at the, uh, the graphite pad. The graphite pad um, did actually uh, help, you know, um, on the CPU for sure. Uh, certainly on the averages. In fact, the same is true of all the different pastes I use there. You know, average of 84, but peaking at 98. So, you know, once the, uh, you know, the fans uh, kick in, it does bring it down a bit, but it does, you know, does peak quite high. And uh, undervolting, the same, 85. That's, uh, you know, and, and the peak temperature of 96 did help. And that's pretty much similar across the board. Uh, the graphite pad did, uh, was actually, was better than, uh, slightly better than the conductor note and the uh, GLID GC Extreme was actually not bad at all. That was pretty comparable. In fact, the, the peak temperature using an undervolt was only 94. So, um, you know, certainly compared to the stock paste, you know, any of these options is a benefit. But it, to be fair, it doesn't solve the problem. Now, looking over at the, uh, the GPU, the stock paste um, averaged at about 87 degrees, peaking at 92. And uh, undervolting the CPU did actually bring the temperatures down slightly and um, certainly on the peaks that up from 92 to 86. Now looking at the graphite pad and this is a, an issue that uh, Bob of all trades mentioned that uh, you know if your heat sink is uh, perhaps not totally flat it doesn't make total contact because it's so thin um, you may have issues so this is a look you know I got um, although it was good on the CPU the GPU is obviously something going on here averaging at 91 peaking at 95 it was uh, even undervolting the CPU, it was, it was high. So it was hotter than the stock paste. So um, looking at the conductor note, um, that was uh, 86 um, average uh, without the undervolt. So that's pretty much similar to the stock paste. And, uh, but the peak temperature was less at 87, that's good. And uh, undervolting was pretty much the same. And the GLID GC Extreme, uh, I would say was probably the best. It's uh, 82 degrees averaging and uh, the peak was uh, Certainly less there, uh, about certainly less than the uh, the stock paste. Certainly at stock, no undervolt. So I think um, that was pretty decent. So to conclude, you know, certainly repasting does help a little bit. It does bring those uh, average temperatures down, but the peaks are still there. And um, you know, it is such a shame. Um, I think uh, the uh, 
Glid to GC Extreme using a thicker paste does help. Uh, the uh, thermal pads, the graphite pads, very thin, you know, uh, all susceptible to you know, how flat and good contact it makes uh, to the uh, the heat sink and the die. So I would probably stay clear of that. And the liquid metal, you know, not worth the risk in my, uh, you know, in my opinion compared to the, uh, the, the GCE Extreme there. So um, I think stick with that if you want to do it. But certainly I think HP does need to increase the fan speeds on the pavilion to make it 100% worthwhile. Otherwise, you know, you will have to downclock and undervote. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. See you next time. Bye.